The groundbreaking ceremony was graced by Sports Minister Ababu Namwamba, as well as double Olympic champion in the 10,000 meters and 5,000 meters Mo Farah from Britain and 800 meters world and Olympic champion David Rudisha, among a host of other athletes. The construction of the Sports Academy starts with the most important part of the school to the E10 community, the Tatan Track. In Lona Kiplagat's own words, when a dream takes so long, especially 15 years, it becomes a nightmare. The only way to get rid of the nightmare is to actualize that dream, and that is what has started in Eton today. Imagine you have a dream, you don't know if it will be realized, and then all of a sudden it's happening. Then it's like, it's again, it's like a dream, it's like it's going so fast. The actual planning started six months ago when Rob was working on another Tatan track in Ethiopia for Kenanisa Bekele, record holder in the 10,000 meters and 5,000 meters. The last three months have been used to work the finer details. We have been designing everything into detail in, in Holland at the university. And uh, so we've worked out all the earthworks and how the track is being built. In the next 21 days, 30,000 cubic meters of soil will be shifted to ensure that the ground is level. As the Tatan track is put in place, the infield will also be worked on as eventually the school will have students that are footballers and rugby players as well. The infield, we're gonna actually going to build a full-size football pitch in there. So it's, it's, it's really a natural grass football pitch uh, that can be used for football as well. Uh, plus that you can do all the field defense in there. So the, the discus throw, the javelin, everything. So it's, it's, it's a full-size IAF approved uh, track and field construction. Outside the main track, there is an additional feature, which is a 5-meter wide cross-training gravel track, a new feature preferred by African athletes for warm-up. Sports Minister Babu Namwamba has pledged government support, especially in clearing the imported tartan and other equipment. We are, we are, we are clearing the tartan track for Kipchoge Keino Stadium in Eldred, for instance, and I know how difficult that can be. So the beginning point is that government will support Lona in uh, clearing the Tatan track through, through the port of Mombasa, make it easy for her to get the Tatan track here. And uh, if there are any other um, um, items that she'll be bringing in from, uh, from abroad that may they require uh, tax rebates or tax breaks, that is something that government should, uh, should consider. That will be a relief on the project budget, which stands at 1 billion Kenya shillings. To start off, Lona sold off a building in the heart of Eldoret town that was meant to be her pension. But she says she leaves the rest to God as the dream has to be actualized to bring out the next generation of top Kenyan athletes. Michael Kinyi for Citizen Sports in E10.